Hey guys, good to have you once again on Powerland Science and Mass TV. Thank you all for your support and I wish you a very big Merry Christmas wherever you are watching this video from. Now, if you are new on this channel, if this video appeals to you or if the content of my channel appeals to you, I'll be very glad if you subscribe to this channel. Now, in this video, we are to solve for the value of x in the equation x on x squared minus 1 plus x squared minus 1 all on x is equal to 13 on 6. Now I'm going to present two different approaches and we'll end up getting the same results. Now in the first approach what I'm going to do is that I'm going to find the LCM and in this case the LCM is simply the multiplication of the denominators of the fractions so I'm going to get 6x into bracket x squared minus 1 so I'm going to multiply through by 6x into bracket x squared minus 1 so multiplying through gives here gives me 6x squared plus multiplying this will give 6x 6 into bracket x squared minus 1 times another x squared minus 1 and this will be equal to 13 times that to give 13x multiplying x squared minus 1 so expanding i'm going to get 6x squared plus now this is the same as 6x squared minus 1 all squared since i'm literally multiplying the same thing and this is equal to expanding this gives 13x cubed minus 13x now this gives 6x squared plus now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to use a principle to expand this generally if we have a minus b all squared this is given by a squared minus 2ab plus b squared so i'm going to use this principle to expand what we have here where in this case a is x squared and b is 1 so expanding that i'm going to get x squared all squared gives x exponent 4 minus 2x squared plus 1 and this is equal to 13x cubed minus 13x so this gives 6x squared plus 6x exponent 4 minus 12 x squared plus 6 is equal to 13 x cubed minus 13 x so let me rearrange so this is actually going to be a polynomial equation where the highest exponent is 4 so this will give 6 x exponent 4 then minus 13 x cubed then i'm going to have going to have minus 6x squared because 6x squared minus 12x squared is minus 6x squared then i'll have plus 13x plus 6 is equal to 0. now to solve this particular polynomial what we have to do is that we are going to apply the factor theorem the factor theorem states that what you are going to do is that you are just going to pick a number and you substitute it in place of x so if upon substitution you end up getting zero then it means that that number you substituted is one of the solutions of this polynomial function so if you pick two if you pick 2 and you substitute, you end up getting 0. If x is equal to 2, you end up getting 0. Which means that 
x minus 2 is part of the factors of this polynomial function so what we are going to do is that we are going to use x minus 2 to find the other possible factors of this polynomial because remember this is x exponent 4 so we are expected to get four factors now we've seen that making x is equal to 2 is one of the solutions so x minus 2 is one of the factors so we are left with three factors how do we get these three factors what we are going to do is that we are going to divide we are going to divide the polynomial with one of the factors being x minus 2 so doing that so doing that gives so we are dividing 6x exponent 4 minus 13x cubed minus 6x squared plus 13x plus 6 so we are dividing all of that by x minus 2 so to do that x dividing that 6x exponent 4 will give us 6x cubed now 6x cubed multiplying this entire thing will give us 6x exponent 4 minus 12x cubed so we are going to subtract all of that so subtracting that gives us gives us negative x cubed minus 6x squared plus 13x plus 6 so now x divides this and we'll be left with minus x squared so minus x squared multiplying this entire thing will give us minus x cubed plus 2x squared so subtracting that gives us negative x squared plus 13x plus 6 then what is going to happen is that x divides that and will be left with negative 8x so negative 8x multiplying this and that will give us negative 8x squared plus 16x so subtracting all of that subtracting all of that gives us negative 3x plus 6 then neg x divides negative 3x negative 3 and so this multiplies that and we'll get negative 3x plus 6 so actually be left with no remainder so what this actually means is that x minus 2 multiplied by 6x cubed minus x squared minus 8x minus 3 when you multiply these two you end up getting 6x exponent 4 minus 13x cubed minus 6x squared plus 13x plus 6 you can go ahead and try that so what it means is that if we have a problem like this what it means is that x minus 2 is equal to 0 where x is equal to 2 so now we've gotten one value of x which is x is equal to 2 now the other value is that we are going to equate 6 x cubed minus x squared minus 8 x minus 3 to be equal to 0 now giving this to the calculator we'll end up getting x to be x to be equal to negative 1 on 2 or x to be 1 plus root of 10 on 3 then x is equal to 1 minus root on 10 all on 3 so these are the four values of x x is equal to 2 x is equal to negative 1 on 2 x is equal to 1 plus root of 
10 all on 3 and then x is equal to 1 minus root on 10 all on 3. So this is actually one of the approaches to solving this problem. Now let me show you the second approach. In the second approach, this is what I'm going to do. If you take a critical look of x squared minus 1 all on x, you could realize that it is a reciprocal of x all on x squared minus 1. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to replace x all on x squared minus 1 with a different variable. So let's say let y be equal to x all on x squared minus 1. So if that is the case, then it means that this becomes y and this becomes 1 on y since it is a reciprocal. So we are going to get y plus 1 on y is equal to 13 on 6. And so multiplying through by the LCM, which is 6y, we are going to get 6y squared plus 6 is equal to 13y. And so, this is a quadratic equation, so the right-hand side must be equal to 0. So, we'll end up with 6y squared minus 13y plus 6 is equal to 0. So, if that is the case, then we are going to get two different solutions. I mean, two values of y. But first of all, let's simplify this equation. We'll end up getting y squared minus 9y minus minus 4y plus 6 is equal to 0. And so, if we are to factorize, we are going to get... Now, over here, I can factorize 3y out. So, factorizing 3y out, I'll be left with... I'll be left with 2y minus 3. Then over here, I can factorize negative 2 out. So, negative 2. And over here, I'll be left with 2y minus 3. And this is equal to 0. So, putting everything together, I'll get 3y minus 2 multiplied by 2y minus 3. And this should be equal to 0. So, if this is equal to 0, what it means is that 3y minus 2 is equal to 0, where y is equal to 2 on 3. Or 2y minus 3 is equal to 0, where y is equal to 3 on 2. 3 on 2. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to equate the values of y to x on x squared minus 1. Since here we said let y be equal to x on x squared minus 1. So, if y is equal to 2 on 3, we are going to get 2 on 3 is equal to x all on x squared minus 1. And in this case, we'll end up getting, we'll end up getting 2x squared minus 2 is equal to 3x. So, this will be 2x squared minus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, in this case, we are going to end up with x being 2 or x is equal to negative 1 on 2. Negative 1 on 2. So, we've gotten two values of x. Now, in the second value of y we got 3 on 2 so 3 on 2 must be equated to x on x squared minus 1 and so we end up getting 3x squared minus 3 is equal to 2x where we we'll get 3x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 and in this case we'll end up with x being equal to 
1 plus root of 10 all on 3 or x is equal to 1 minus root 10 all on 3. So over here too, we've gotten four values. And these four values of x are the same as the values of x we got in the first approach. Thank you for watching this video. And please let me know what you think of these two approaches in the comment section. And in case there are other approaches that you have, you can let me know in the comment section. Thank you. And please, if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do so. Bye-bye.